So what you're saying is fantastic plastic. Time for our second WTF in our toilet area. Wow, you are incredibly loud in an echoey washroom. Careful, there are people working downstairs, Simon. Use your whisper voice. Like who? Who's working? People, Lee? No, Lee's locked inside of a soundproof cave because she knows you're a loud outdoor talker. The people below us. Well, we're about to give the people below us a surprise <laughs> I'm, because- I'm really concerned about this actually. What we've got here today, this fantastic plastic that Martina showed you is actually a toilet declogger. I'm not sure if this is common or not, but I've never seen anything like this before. Instead of using a plunger to get rid of your bunged up poos, this thing is supposed to like seal on your toilet. Like a then, plastic sheet. Yeah, and then it like the air rises and then you like push you it down like it. a plunger. So that way you don't get like dirty poop water sprayed all over you from a plunger. But my concern is that because our toilet's actually not plugged, the people below us will be like in the toilet taking a poop, and then when we push it, the pressure might cause it to like go on like oops, when the person's like, ah, they're like, Free for day, bitches. <laughs> so gross. So gross. So here we are in our washroom. Yes, this is a washroom, guys. <laughs> okay, we're gonna head into the washroom. Meet you guys. Meet you guys here. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I have to clean the toilet bowl seat, which has oh. never been done. <laughs> no, it's nonsense. Ooh, Our toilet's sparkling clean. Also, look at my robot that I made. And the reason I'm cleaning the seat is because the sticker has to like suction stick. So you can't have little bits of poop and corn. I like how, how many mirrors we have here in our toilet. Like we like to stare at ourselves. Um, yes. Did you show everybody your mustache mirror while I clean the seat? Oh, yeah. Stay here. And then you use a urinal. You got a little mustache right there. Your mirror is everywhere. Okay, clean the toilet. I am cleaning the toilet. This is part of my job description. Susie! <laughs> it's not part of her job description either. Step two, I'm supposed to take this out of the packaging and seal it on very carefully. Okay, so. Uh -huh. so it's like a life vest. Uh, yes, yeah, not a very good <laughs> it's one. A life vest for your pools. Boom too. It's actually very clever. I'm going to put yeah. some. Oh god toilet paper down, not to clog it, but um, just to show. Stop being so wasteful. We bought this off G Market and the vendor that sells this has a video on how to fix this to your toilet. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, gross. Okay. Lucky you. It's fine, everything's fine. Do it right. <laughs> this looks a lot easier in their at home video. Okay, I've got this. Boom shakalaka. Okay, here they peel all that off. So much toilet bowl touching. Should I peel the whole thing off and do it in one go, or should I go no, slowly? No, you should go like slowly, like... Ducky! Ah! This video is going down the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That was easy. Uh, okay, so I've sealed it down, and now I'm supposed to flush the toilet, and it's gonna puff up, and then we push that down. And this is when we launch someone off their toilet. Okay. Okay, you ready? Okay, keep an eye on this while I flush the toilet. See how it puffs? And now I am to... Oh! You can hear it. Do you hear it? Yeah. Ooh. Seriously guys, we're on the fourth floor and the building is so old that when you flush it once, you're like, well that's it for the next 25 minutes. So I actually think this did not work as well as it was supposed to because I'm pretty sure I did not seal it properly. You broke it. I did, I think Supposedly, I broke it. Supposedly you can stand on this thing. It's so strong that you can stand on it. So Martina, take off the socks. <laughs> um, I don't trust my ceiling. stand on this right now. I don't trust my ceiling job. I think you saw it puff up and then you saw the air leak out. I think I screwed it up. You know what we should do? Right. We should put the toilet seat back down and then like, like leave it for Person comes in and get ricocheted all over. <laughs> that's the most terribly funny thing I've heard in a long time. So that's it for this week's wonderful <laughs> treasure time. I really messed this up. You saw as it was puffing up that it was definitely gonna work. And when I push it, even though it wasn't fully sealed, you can hear the water in the tank going like. You can hear it which is the sound of pushing flushing. So I think this works awesomely. I just feel like, is it kind of a waste to buy this when you could just use a plunger? Plungers get like, they, they spray water all over yeah. your clothes afterwards. Also like, how often do you really use a plunger? Because Although, there was that time you tried to dump Galby down the toilet, oh. and Galby has ribs in it, and Simon clogged our toilet with bones, animal bones. Like you're trying to flush a corpse down the body as a murderer. Oh my God.